it's yeah it's one of the hardest things because you hear about um you always hear about things that were blunders or accidents or ter terrible mistakes you know a, a, a villager was killed when the taliban was shooting from his village i mean yeah that's terrible but it had to happen it wasn't it wasn't by choice you know that the guys that shot at the guy that was shooting at them made that choice. It wasn't their choice. They had to do it, you know? And, well, and you hear about those accidents all the time, but you don't hear about the time after time where we're treating these, we're treating the, all the uh, the villagers, if they have any kind of sicknesses, we, you know, we take them into our, our base and we treat them right there. You know, we don't manhandle them. We don't, we're not aggressive. We, as soon as they're, uh, you know, healthy, they're free to go. You know, they don't hear about that though, you know? No, I know, and I I find that very frustrating, which is another reason why I think this film is very significant. I mean, that it's difficult because obviously we're in 2010 now, and and it happened in 2007, and I think that the tempo in Afghanistan was very high in 2007, and it was a very different, it, almost a, a slightly different campaign to the one that we see in, in 2010. So it, that was you were at the sharpest end of the conflict, I think, in 07. And the conflict was raging yeah. everywhere fairly brutally. But to be, I think, you know, the intelligence coming out of Pakistan now and how deeply embedded Pakistan is really in how the campaign is being delivered, whereas actually you were 15 miles from the Pakistan border and actually, unbeknownst to you, you'd walked, you were policing a, 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 a gangster's trade route, not a Taliban, you know, not, a, you know, let's throw the infidels out because we're anti-Afghanistan, but because actually this is a profitable trade route that we use to smuggle goods into Afghanistan. Via. You walked, you mean, you might as well have walked into Miami and started trying to resolve the drug problem, really, in terms yeah. of Afghanistan. Hey, 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 break it up, break it up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, that's kind of what you did. You walked into the middle of, a, you know, Miami in Afghan terms and said, do you know, does anyone want a hospital and a new school? And then I'd be like, dude, no. What we want is to run our coke from, you know, right. Miami to Florida, you know, wherever. So. Right. And that's even even harder to understand. But, you know, um, you know, it's it's one of the, the, the truths of that little place, you know. Yeah. So. So it was beautiful. So in terms of a journey then, because again, I don't think people really understand. Like for you, you've kind of gone, do you think you, how old were you on the mountain? Uh, 24. 24. I turned 25 up there, yeah. Did you, what did you do for your birthday? Um, what did I do for my birthday? Yeah. On the Corringill uh, Valley 25th <laughs> birthday party. Me and my, it was actually me and my squad leader, me and my squad leader, Matt. Uh, we uh, we had the same birthdays and we had to fight everyone off for our birthdays. What, you so had then, to like, they kicked your ass for your birthday? No, they were trying to and then uh, Mac handled it. So um, so we didn't get beat. We, we normally get pink bellies for your birthday. Nice. So, so Every man's just, dream. Yeah, yeah. So we uh, we had to fight our way out of the pink bellies. So Most people get a cake. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's not... That's in civilized, uh, civilized place. That's not in, you know, every guy wants to tackle his buddy for his birthday, you know. So. Is it just fighting all the time? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You know, if it wasn't, if it wasn't fighting, it was harassing one another, you know, um, to the, the hardest, the most hurtful thing you can think of, you know. But that's how you got along. That's how what is the most that, hurtful thing you can think of? Nothing with wives or girlfriends or anything like that. It's just uh, we no, no. just make like think of someone's flaw, like any flaw that you had in your your. Like I was made fun of for uh, being bald and I have a uh, hairy lower back. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> too. And uh, so, what do so they I call you? Made... What? What do they call you then? Do they make you wax your back uh, and stuff? I... No, no, I don't wax my back. I just, you know, I, my lower back has a little hair on it. So uh, they always called it the man tuft. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> so whenever I was bending over or something, I would always have to watch out because someone might pull on. They might pull it. Head. Yeah, so. It's nothing I want to talk about anymore. Let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> just leave the man 
can't have to learn, all right? It's like... <laughs> Uh, yeah and so it was kind of i definitely think and i've said this to tim as well that there was def it was definitely quite homoerotic have you got that from the film ever like there's definitely a lot yeah. of touching yeah but it was it was all in, you know to make fun of each other you know to to get underneath the skin because you got at that point in the film that was towards the end everything that happened like that Basically, you had already passed every every line of of um, that you could have crossed already. Like you've you've okay, you've hurt his feelings by making fun of him. That got old, and it's no longer you know it no it no longer gets to him. So the second stage, okay, you beat each other up until that no longer gets you know. So that's boring. Fun or, yeah, and you go on to the third step, and so finally you're at like eighteen steps down the road. You're like okay, the only thing that gets underneath this guy's skin is being gay to him. Okay, this is how I'm gonna get underneath this guy's skin. So and did, that's how. So did you give a man sandwich, or were you man sandwiched? <laughs> no, no, that never happened. That never happened. There's no. <laughs> never heard of the man sandwich. Mm -mm, no, I don't even know what that is. So. <laughs> You're such a liar. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know no. that bit in the film where the chef is? There's the chef, right, in the film, and they, like, yeah, yeah. bundle him. And they, do they yeah. undo his trousers and touch his knob? <laughs> they, were just, they were trying to, and they, they were just messing around with him. And so, that, you know, there's that, that's how that went. And uh, Bobby Jean is a uh, was hilarious guy from Georgia. And he would uh, he'd hold guys down and just kiss them on their forehead until the guys flipped it out. And it just, you know, that was what he was going to do to that guy, basically. Like a bit of licking, <laughs> a bit of random licking. <laughs> I can't agree or disagree on that one. <laughs> yeah, I can tell it was pretty mental up there, but I, I do get it. I do get how that happens. Like, like in, the, um, in the RAF, they do a lot of lunging, like random lunging. Do you know what a lunge no. is? You know what a lunge is. Like in the gym, a lunge, where you put one leg in front of the other and then you, like, stretch. Yeah, right, right. Oh, yeah. That's called yeah, a lunge, yeah. isn't it? Would yeah, you yeah. call it a lunge? Yeah, I call it a lunge. Yeah, right, so they do this, like, you know, they, they'll they try and get a lunge in when no one's, you know, when you least expect it, like, in the middle of a brief or something, and they'll be like, oh, I've got a lunge in. You know, <laughs> stuff like that. It's, just, it's kind of randomness of... Yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of military sense yeah. of humour that people don't really get. And I think I like that's the things about the film that I took were really positive is that when you live in these kind of extreme circumstances, then you do extreme things. So did you get kind of tactile with Tim and Sebastian then? Did you, you get a bit tactile? touchy? Do you, like... Oh, oh, no, no. Those, oh, oh, you mean like, oh, oh no, 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 no. We, uh, we did, we did uh, get Sebastian though. We, we did get him to, um, we found out he was afraid of spiders. And uh, you don't, that's one of the things in, in the military you don't do. You don't let anyone know what you're afraid of or you're going to get harassed for it. So uh, me and this guy, Alcantara, Staff Sergeant Alcantara, we went out there and we were like, okay, so what are we going to do tonight? And it was late at night when we were bored and we couldn't sleep. And I was like, oh, let's, you know, let's go get a... a let's go fuck let's Sebastian up. Like, like, let's go make a fake spider. I was like, all right. So we're giggling and stuff like that. And we cut the thing out of styrofoam and we 